everyone, it's Paige Evans back with a new process video. There are quite a few different parts to this layout. We are going to start with the print and cut feature using a silhouette cameo. So I am using florals from my Oh My Heart collection. So in the silhouette design store, you can search for Pink Paisley Oh My Heart and it brings up a bunch of designs. I am using pretty much all of the print and cut flowers. Just wanted to show you what they look like. Up here if you were to search for it you can even click on one and see the design ID number and yeah so you want to download those and then in a new silhouette studio document you can go ahead and find them in your library type flower and then it should pull them up I love flowers so I have an abundance of flower die cuts double click add as many as you want into a new document. I'm just going to grab all of the flowers that I have downloaded from Oh My Heart. Not worrying about the size right now. And I'm missing one, so I need to go back and grab it. The flower bunch. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is change the size of this document to eight and a half by 11 because we need to print it first. I'm zooming out so you can see I need to resize these because obviously if I were to print that right now the, fl the flowers would not print all over it. It would just go off the edges. And now we need to add the registration marks. This is how the Cameo reads the lines and where to cut the flowers out. So you can space the flowers however you want. Try and fit as many flowers as you can on a page. The white block, if you can see it's overlapping, you can right click and send to back and that will, it just helps with piecing the flowers together. I've gone ahead and made a whole document with as many flowers as I could fit on it and then send to printer. I have two sheets of flowers that I'm going to print and then here's the second sheet send to printer. So I've printed two sheets of flowers. This is what they look like once they've come out of my printer. And then you need to place it on the sticky mat exactly where it is in Silhouette Studio. Load it into your mat and then cut, you know, send it to your Cameo and look, it cuts beautifully the flowers right out from the mat. And now you have an unlimited supply of floral die cuts, which is super exciting because I'm always running out of these flower die cuts. If it didn't cut all the way out, you can just use a pair of fine tipped scissors and finish cutting it out. I just placed it outside of the cutting zone on the mat. So that is the first step. The next step is hand stitching a big flower. And I found this die cut in the paper issues store in their free cut files. It's the tropical floral swag free cut file. Add to cart, it's free. You can download it and then in a new silhouette studio, drag and drop. And I'm going to trace the image really quick. So select trace area, go over the whole image, uncheck high pass filter, and then trace. And then you can delete the original flower. And now I am going to do something tricky. This is a pretty cool feature of the Cameo 3. I want to draw and cut. So to create a like a buffer zone or an offset zone, you need to ungroup the whole thing or release the compound path, click on just the outer layer, offset it, and then make sure the right tools are selected. So the first tool in my machine is going to be the sketch pen and I want it to draw that whole inside flower. And for the second tool, you need to click on the actual line. I didn't quite get it in, in this part yet, but it's going to be with the blade. So select textured cardstock. The first one is silhouette sketch pen. Tool one, the silhouette sketch pen. Tool two is with the blade and select textured cardstock. So you can see the different layers are in red and blue. Just make sure your tools are in the right spots in your machine. When I first did this, I had them switched, so I had to redo it. I was thinking a bit, making sure I had everything right. And once you're ready to go, 
send to Silhouette. And I did record a little bit of the process so you can see how the Cameo 3 does this. So see, I've got the Silhouette sketch pen in the red or first unit. So it drew the flower first and then it is going around with the blade and cut it out. So here's the flowers that I print and cut. So many flowers. And then I used a brand new mat. This was the very first pass through the machine, so it was super sticky. So I had to very carefully peel it off the mat. And then comes the hand stitching part. So I actually stitched this whole flower while we were on a big road trip. It took quite a few hours, but I love the results. I am a huge fan of hand stitching. I love the texture that it adds. And I just did white on white for the ultimate textured flowers. So I'm doing a basic back stitch. I'm using DMC embroidery floss. I'm keeping all six strands and just go to town. I forgot about the piercing. You need to pierce a hole every quarter inch or every eighth inch or so around the entire drawn design. Now I am creating a textured background. This floral design cut file or cut Anyway, whatever this is, is from KI Memories. Do you remember them? Yeah, back in the good old days, man, scrapbooking was so awesome. It still is. I just miss a lot of companies. Um, so I'm using their floral die cut background as a stencil and using modeling paste and a scraper, a palette knife. I really need to work on my terminology. <laughs> um, anyway, and I'm scraping the modeling paste right over the floral design. I'm only doing the outer edges because the stitched flower that I worked on is going to be in the center and I don't need to waste modeling paste in the center when it's just going to be covered up and just scraping it across. Trying to be careful to make sure it gets in all the grooves and all the gaps, but I'm not being too careful because it looks great no matter what, I think. Once I'm finished scraping the modeling paste, I lift the floral design off the background and set it aside to dry. And it dries really quick, but I love all this texture. I mean, look at that background. It's so textured. And then you've got the texture from the stitching. And I just love all the white on white. So um, these floral die cuts that we just cut in the beginning with the print and, print and cut feature, I'm going to create layers and tucking them behind the stitched floral design. Trying to place the biggest flowers first, going all the way down into those grooves of the stitched flower. I'm pointing the leaves up and out so it's like a big beautiful floral bouquet. I typed my journaling directly onto the photo before printing it and I love the bright yellow background and this photo of Jane and it's just gonna go right there at the bottom so not too much of the hard work and all the hours that I spend stitching is not getting covered up too much creating a second floral border, you know, tucking, tucking more of those flowers underneath the photo. And then finishing with a title created using the colorful mini alphabet stickers in the Oh My Heart sticker book. It's going to say Cutie Pie, because she is. And I love her outfit. I let her pick her own outfit. And it's just a colorful hot mess. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way. I am bending up the leaves to create more dimension and make them a little bit more realistic. And that, my friends, is the finishing touch. And I hope you have learned a few new techniques from this layout and are inspired to give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. See you again soon.